six years ago. So I'm at the Carlisle Car Show and I happened to walk by a very, very interesting exhibit. It's an exoskeletal vehicle that I had no idea what it was. All I know is that I looked at it and I wanted one. Now, being that I was going to college at the time, I was piss ass broke and couldn't barely afford ramen. So I said, okay, you know what? When I get myself on my feet after I'm out of college and I've paid off of my student loans and all that other crap, I think I might have to make myself one of these. Now, after doing about six years of, you know, six years of research, learning how to do all the proper tooling, learning how to weld and be a proper gearhead, which I was a little bit at the time, I realized that I was going to need a Mazda MX-5 between the years of 1989 and, well, pretty much 2000, or the NANNB models. Now, the interesting part with a Mazda Miata, at least I know for the NA and the NB, is that it has what they call a roller skate chassis, where if you pull off the body, the engine, transmission, front and rear axle and the transfer line between them is all connected between a minimal subframe which allows you to build a kit car around it. Now as you can see with this picture right here, obviously that is the kit that you would buy from Exoset. Now you can get this made in pretty much any color you want with the uh, chassis and the fenders and that and you know you can do whatever color combination we are. We are doing red and black because I like red and black and it offers you a really cool opportunity to take a car that is really good and make it really, really great as well as knock about a thousand pounds off of its weight. Now, the average Mazda Miata only weighs around 22 to 2400 pounds stock, depending on what your options are that you have. With the Exoset, you can usually bring that down to about 13 to 1400 pounds. Now, with the Mazda, does it have a massively powerful engine? No, not really. It has a usually between a 1.6 for the NA model and a 1.8 for the NB model. Ah, off the factory at least, you know, without 100,000 miles on it, generating around 140 horsepower for the NB and around 120 plus for the NA, which was a slightly smaller engine. However, there are a massive amount of modifications turbos and other things that you can slap onto these engines and make them immensely powerful. Now, a big thing with the Miata is that it didn't have a lot of power, but it wasn't a very heavy car either, which gave it a good power to weight ratio. It also handled very, very well. It stuck to the road like shit to a blanket, and that's something a lot of people who've driven these will know, and they are a lot of fun. Now, the Miata, is it a car that I would drive every day? Not really. However, the nice thing about a car like this is there's no roof and you can be as tall as you want. And I think it's really, really cool. Now, I used to ride motorcycle very, very heavily due to a back injury simply because of, you know, a lot of lifting and working in the form of work that I do. I can't ride very much anymore. So I decided, you know what? I'm going to give up my motorcycles, but I'm going to compensate with something else that is just as much fun, if not funner, and not really a whole hell of a lot safer, but you know what? Hey, we all got to die sometime, right? Anyway. Now, we've got a really long way to go before we can actually get this project even started, really. We have a two-bay garage here at the shop, which we are currently renovating to get all of our assets in order, all the tools set up, and everything so we can build this project from beginning to end, and we don't have to have any massive downtime. Now, you know, we've got the lifts, we've got the tools, we've got the welders, which we won't need, but you know, we're working on that. I've got a lot of carbon fiber, and we're going to learn to work with carbon fiber with this project because I'm going to line a lot of stuff with carbon fiber because I think it looks super sexy. If you don't think carbon fiber looks sexy, yeah. Anyway, we're going to build it. Now, I don't have all the free time in the world. I deal with a lot of cybersecurity stuff with my job, and unfortunately, the cyber attacks that have been happening lately have made my job very, very difficult to have free time. So, I'm going to actually reach out to the community. If you'd like to help build this exoset, come and join us on the channel. Come and raid the fridge that we have here in the shop. Just don't touch my monster Red Bull, because I'll slap the shit out of you. Other than that, you're good. We've got all the tools we need. We've got a plenty of friendly people who are helping us already. But I'd like to reach out and meet more of our awesome subscribers. You guys rock. I love meeting you guys. I love talking to you. Playing Overwatch or, you know, Killing Floor 2. Whatever games you guys play, I love playing with you. It's a lot of fun, and I love just hanging out with everybody. So we've got a lot of things to do. Obviously, 
getting the project started is going to take a little bit. We want to have it be really, really funny. Monster Garage and some of the stuff that happened back in like you know, the early 2000s, that stuff was actually pretty good. A lot of things nowadays is too much drama. I want to make it comedy. This shit needs to be funny. I don't want it to be stressful. Oh, we gotta build a car in seven days! That's bullshit. We ain't doing that. I don't settle for that kind of crap because people get hurt, things get broken, unnecessary expenses, and I, I ain't going for that because we're cheap, unfortunately. I mean, we may have big ass guns, but we are a little bit on the cheap side, at least I am. So, that being said, do be patient with us as we get this project started. I don't expect to really start doing the teardown until probably later September. We're going to pull the chassis off, we're going to, or pull the body off, we're going to tear the chassis apart, we're going to paint the chassis, you know, internal mechanisms to make everything look really clean and nice. We're going to redo the shocks, suspension, bushings, rotors, calipers. We're going to upgrade a lot of parts and restore a lot of the parts. So if you're local and Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and you want to stop by and help us with this project, meet me and the rest of the, the crew, you're more than welcome, guys. But until next time, I actually have to head back to the office, so I will see you guys later. I am Bert from Pixel Omri. Like, favorite, subscribe, and I'm going to continue, well, we're just going to keep blowing shit up, so I'll see you guys later.